Hello everyone, it is John. <laughs> I had to bite my tongue when I did the first version of this. Look, I'm doing a... <laughs> Look, I'm going to continue. Look, it is Larry Niven's Ringworld. Yes, from the lovely company of Chaosium. It uses the basic roleplay um, mechanics. And I'm very, very happy to have this in my collection. Not so happy with the fact that I have lost the companion book that goes with this. This is sitting in another person's collection and hasn't been returned to me. So if this person is watching this, feel guilty and please return it to me. Anyway, uh, let's go and have a look at what's in this box. Right, we're having a look at Larry Niven's Ringworld, role-playing adventure beneath the Great Arch. And this was brought to us by Chaosium. Yes, and this I bought ages ago. When was this produced? Um, good question. I'll tell you probably at the very end. But this box, what's in this box? So you've got an explorer's book, technology book. Creatures book, a Game Master's book, some handouts, so a, a reference sheet, a staple book that had a um, an autopilot printout which gave you information about the ring world and then the character sheets. Then you had cardstock explorers and then you got dice, which I'm quite sure I have gone and cobbled and used in other game system. So that is a that. So that's interesting. It says, where is the map of the ring world? What's this? The band below is one half inch wide. A width representing the scale is the circumference. Oh, OK. So that's basically saying that's what it is. That's the map of the ring world. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all very, very interesting, isn't it? <coughs> Pardon me. So you had the Explorer's, the Explorer's book. So it deals, so there's your Explorer's sheet. So basic, the basic role play information. So your strength, your mass, your con... Obviously, they've changed, I think, mass. Or have they introduced mass? I have no idea. As I said, I don't think I actually ever played this game. I think I got it purely because it dealt with Ringworld. So for me, it was a, uh, a supplement for information. So uh, it was all about information for me. And, of course, it's basic roleplay. Nice and simple. That's what I liked about it. You can't do a lot of da harm with the uh, Chaosium, pardon me, the Chaosium roleplay system. So you've got individual skills. Fairly standard if you've played anything from the stable that is Chaosium. So the game system, so your skills talks about that. Time movement, game intervals, the uh, the resistance tables fairly standard, research tracks, how combat works, and uh, damage points, Earth and other worlds. So it talks about a bit of history. The puppeteers, the belt, so yes, it's a um, very yeah, then you got the Zin, which are the uh, the cat people or tigers or whatever you'd like to call them, Zinti. And then you've got your puppeteers, racer cowards. And I thought that was rather entertaining. 
So that was uh, that's the Explorer's book. Then the Technology book is again, I guess, just your book of what items are available. Human-wise, autopilots, communication, medical equipment, tools. Probes. What else have we got? Sonic knives. Tri D recorders. Vehicles. Fly cycles. Yeah, so everything that's sort of there. Disintegrators. So it's a. Uh, Yeah, that was the technology book. Then we got the creature book, which obviously said, must have got run over by something at some stage. I think I must have dropped it and run my wheelchair over the, or my wheelie chair from over the book. So I'm not overly happy with that. But anyway, it's had a bit of crush damage. So, uh, yes. So we've got all the creatures. I think a lot of these are the uh, the pack creatures. I think some of them are particular to the uh, to Ringworld. I mean, it's been ages since I've read Ringworld. Let's do it again. So that's all the information. Basic animals. Yeah, so that's the creature book, and then there's the Game Master's book. So how, obviously, to run any adventures on there. Obviously, all the information regarding the ring world itself. So it talks about, you know, how many planet Earths can fit into one small grid of... Uh, on the ring world itself, so it's uh, interesting set. So there's quite a bit of thought has gone into this particular system, and obviously, I think it really does help that you've read. I think uh, Niven's Niven's work, I think, to to bring this game to life. Then there's the reference. This is the reference sheet that they talk about. So that's a handy sheet that they talk about for people to hang on to. Here's that autopilot printout, which uh, talks about that. And then there's the character sheet. So everything from the game, base game, or the role playing game is there. And of course, the cardboard cutouts, just a, a uh, cardboard black and white so that is that now I did actually have there was an expansion or a companion book for this which sadly a friend borrowed and uh, that individual sadly has not returned it I doubt I will ever get it back now so uh, I'm not overly happy about that but not much I can do about it so, uh, but that is Ringworld, and uh, again, it's uh, just a standard basic roleplay um, game mechanics, and it's really what you make of the world itself as to how successful a roleplaying system it becomes. So, uh, look, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.